And it is a sad day because happening today, family and friends are coming together to say their final goodbye to a Hendersonville police officer who died in the line of duty. News Channel 5's Mo Hyder live for us at the First Baptist Church. He's in Hendersonville, and this is where Officer Spencer's funeral will take place. And really, this community still reeling from this horrible accident. Yeah, I mean, the Hendersonville police chief does say they haven't experienced anything like this in nearly two decades. An officer losing his life in the line of duty. And what also makes this even harder is that Officer Spencer Bristol wanted to be an officer so badly. And he'd only been with the department for about five years. Now, this loss has been felt throughout the law enforcement community, but also brought them closer together. Overnight, THP tweeted this photo of troopers you see here conducting honor guard service for Officer Bristol. The community, of course, still very much shaken up by this tragedy. Last week, Bristol was hit by a vehicle during a chase on I-65 near Goodlettsville. You can see an outpouring of support from yesterday's visitation as loved ones, colleagues, other departments, and friends all came together to pay their respects. Officer Bristol also served his country as a member of the Navy. He was recently promoted in the department and he leaves behind a wife and a three-year-old daughter as well. Friends of his say protecting and serving his community was his passion. One thing I do know is uh, um, he lost his life doing what he loves the most, and that is saving people regardless on what anybody thinks he should or shouldn't have done. He'd done what he felt was right. And another visitation is scheduled today at the church from 9 o'clock to 11 o'clock. The funeral is expected to follow. We're live in Hendersonville this morning, Hyder News Channel 5.